My advice to any instructor would be to learn about the about teaching and learning online, to do some homework and to do a quick study, um, to get the necessary background in terms of some of the literature, which is quite substantive. Um, it would be very helpful to um, connect with a mentor or someone who has some experience in teaching and learning online and is, is doing a good job. Uh, it would be very important to understand that uh, an online course requires upfront design. So really thoughtful and methodical design applied to creating and, and, uh, and developing um, an online environment and it really is an environment that's how it's the metaphor that I would use not so much a classroom but an environment in which we get to explore some topics and we get to know each other and and we integrate the concept of community um, so all of those things are important to understand up front um, and to prepare oneself uh, in advance I don't think it's any different than classroom teaching I think it's being prepared I think it's having if it's um, having your syllabus well documented and um, ensuring that I think I would have somebody else read my um, syllabus to ensure that if I'm a student everything is in there that uh, that I understand it and that I have a good evaluation framework outlined for them early on. Um, the other thing is to stay involved with your students, so with, whether it's through uh, early introductions. So I always do an introduction section. I introduce myself. I tell them um, how I'm going to uh, work with the class and my expectations for those students as, for the students as well. So um, what does a blackboard or what does a discussion board um, post mean? Uh, what will marking mean? So if you're responding to someone versus adding new content versus adding you know a link to some paper that they've read etc so uh, I do this whole introduction I ask them to do the same thing where are you from what program are you in have you done uh, online learning in the past uh, so I can get a feel for where those students are at and then I I have a very open door policy and uh, I encourage them to communicate with me um, whenever they need to start early um, ask others uh, read a, a quick book on what the best online instructors do and take a few of those tips. Um, another piece of advice would be don't, do, don't try to do everything right away. Uh, take a few pieces. Um, you know, maybe, maybe the first time you're teaching you don't have to do collaborate. You can, you can just teach asynchronously that first year so that you can get used to all of the different uh, different things that are going to happen in, in the online world. Um, I think that very, very quickly, if, if people don't have a plan when they're teaching online, the, the, the problems will snowball. Um, so I, I think it's important to just start early, stick to a fixed plan, the first class, learn from that, and then add something every year. That's probably the best advice I could give. Online, it'll be readily apparent if you aren't ready <laughs> and knowing what you're doing. You better be ready and that's going to take time. It's going to take investment and you'll get better at it as you go along but at first it's going to be a little disconcerting. It'll probably take a lot more investment of time than you're used to giving to your classes. But the other thing that I really, I believe this with the depth of my being, Whatever it is about teaching that makes you joyful, makes you happy to teach and be in that classroom, just like you're in a regular classroom, bring it. Bring it to the online classroom. Bring that honest, authentic enthusiasm for what you do. Try to remember what it was that brought you to teaching in your content area in the first place. What was that spark? Was it somebody who taught you? Was it something you really got excited about in your content area that just, just made the hair stand up on the back of your neck the first time? And bring that attitude to, to online teaching. And um, I think it'll completely change the experience for you and for your students.